Alrighty, so here's this version. It's the sound at the end. I'm gonna play this whole thing here. You got that new idea, which I all like. I like the animation. I'm really not concerned. What are you looking at, butthead? <laughs> In terms of animation, all that looks cool. So here are my thoughts. Besides the super picky this attention here, uh, this is slightly odd where we just barely see the second horse and it kind of overlaps with the first. We don't quite know what's going on. Only by now-ish I understand the shapes, what's going on. But then it stays always so small. We have all of this and then that's that. And I was picturing in my mind something where it could be multiple things where maybe you see this much of the horse, which doesn't quite look like a horse, but it could be more part of the neck and then the head or bigger and even if that's part of the neck and the head is here just bigger in frame maybe not so profile three quarter maybe a bit less but i was i was just vis envisioning something to be honest almost a third of the screen space maybe a bit less and then the main character would just be here and I understand that if we start here, this would end up maybe here, but this could still, or actually here, if the horse is here, starts to walk and is here. I mean, this would, to me, be nicely balanced, because right now, there's so much room, I'm almost expecting something to come in here. So imagine that now, this would be here, looking this way, which makes sense, has nicely uncomfortable framing here, looks to the right, and then you got the big shape of the second horse here. And then does this, and maybe it would lead the frame by this much. We would start panning here, pan follow. And then with this one, my concern is that we are fairly one liney here. And by that, I mean if we would go slightly more three quarter, that if nose and you know the mouth would be here, let's imagine in my awesome drawing, that this would be breaking the silhouette a bit more in terms of the shape with the, with the mouth and everything maybe like a you know eyebrows versus that kind of if you squint and do like a silhouette twist it's kind of one piece and that almost leads me to what if this is strong in terms of a curve which because of that it will end up more three quarter but it would start here and then imagine it comes out here we might, I mean, might, not might, we have to do another pan, maybe quick with this. But again, my thought goes into what if this was a bit more three quarter? And then here is the other mouth front part of the other horse. Not that you want to push them against each other, which obviously would be cool. That just adds a lot more work. But that's where my mind goes. Again, I'm not worried about your animation. I think all this is cool. That's cute. <laughs> Could probably potentially maybe couple, shape a couple of frames out of that. This is maybe a bit poppy, bit right there. I would soften that amount of the body here on the up and down. This has a sudden fly forward. I don't think it's fast enough. Like this section feels exaggerated, which might actually help you with less pan. Where to me it feels more like, because you can easily just have a trip and this would be further left so that the stone would still be here behind that leg. That makes sense. You just trips. It's not a fall, but just a quick flap front thing like that. So maybe that head would end up only be here, technically, right? But then with that new framing, that might actually help you then when you go this way, a bit more three quarter, that we end up a bit more, you know, again, back to it's pretend we see more of that horse that we have silhouette versus silhouette pushing against each other. Again, this is a lot more work, but I just wanted to tell you my, my thought process and what I was envisioning. This just doesn't quite work for me. If I had to fix anything, it would just be this. Even if, even if this empty, if the second horse is not in, walks in and then maybe the second head turns into frame, it just seems a bit convoluted. I mean, okay, how about this? What if the horse is down here? You have the neck and maybe, maybe neck here, that, like this low and it's eating. We don't see that it's eating, but it's low enough and maybe we understand something with the jaw that something's going on. That gives us enough room to see this guy come in. Then the horse notices that horse number one comes in 
or the hero horse, brings up the head and gets the head to maybe this height. That's my awesome horse. Which prompts this horse to go, Whoa, huh? why are you looking at me? And that again would have to be staged somehow that it's just a bit more balanced with horse, horse like that, even though it's a bit much. But then going with the, the fall, like I said before, and all of that. I don't know, I feel like I have more questions than critiques in this one. But I just wanted to make sure that I am clear and that we can potentially rework the beginning a little bit if that's something you're open to. My biggest concern is this. Technically, after that, everything is fine. This is just my main concern. If I had to really whittle it down to one thing, it's just this, this shape overlap is my concern. After that, animation-wise, it's great. I'm still not a super fan of just that small space with all of that. I think compositionally, we would go a bit more something like this. Rest of the... Can't draw with this tool. Gotta get my second tool. That whatever, you know, whatever the horse shape is, that would be my my thought. Like That would be the composition. All right. I hope that's not super confusing. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. All right. Thanks. All right, there's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.